In this episode we are going to look at my new direct drive lightweight filament extruder. Let's first take a look at the design before we go to the testing videos where we will see what kind of limits we can reach with this extruder in terms of volumetric speed. We are going to compare the E3D V6 versus the Triangle Lab Dragon Hot End. So let's see if there's a difference in how much filament we can push per second with this extruder through those hot ends. First of all, this extruder consists of only three parts. They all print without any support. And the hardware is easily sourced, so you will get a very strong and lightweight extruder to a reasonable price. So let's take a look inside. Also have the latch here. Then we can have a look at the base. Easy to print. Prints like this. No support. This is the front. Also easily printed. Prints like this. This is the NEMA 14 motor. The torque rating is 12 Newton centimeter. So it's a 0.9 degree stepper. So if you did run a 1.8 degree stepper, you need to double your steps. Here we can see all the gears. This is the BMG pinion. This is the 50 tooth spur gear. And the spur gear axle. And the spur gear bearings. Two of those. And we have the BMG filament gears. The latch the base file and the front. So we need to print the base, the front and the latch. We also have this 20 millimeter pin with bearings which comes with the gear set. Link down below to the hardware. I will make an assembly video for this extruder. So subscribe for that one. Let's go to the testing videos. Got the walls. So this is 150. So I just printed this bracket. This is PET G. This is printed at 60 mm a second. 0.25 layer height. Let's do some more testing. Currently we are printing PET G 75 mm a second. And so far we have no skipping. 11.25 volumetric filament speed, which is pretty good. But this is in a Bowden setup. Okay, so we're starting to see the limit here now. <clears throat> Not good at 175. We might be reaching the limit of the hot end. This is the E3D V6. Now we're starting to extrude uh, normally again at 150. So I think 150 is about what we can expect at 0.3 layers with 0.5 line width. The limit of the E3D V6 is rated at 15 cubic millimeter a second and we are extruding 15 cubic millimeter a second. I can try another hot end to see if we can reach uh, higher speeds. The extruder is performing at the top of what it should be. We did have skipping at 175 as we can see on the part. There are uh, issues with the lower part where we did extrude at uh, 175 on here. But this wall looks great at 150. What do you guys think? So let me know in the comment below. So we are now rocking the Triangle Lab Dragon Hotten. Link down below. So let's see if this guy can push more than the E3D V6 and how much the extruder can push before skipping. So this is 150. It was the limit of the E3D V6. Everything looks good on the extruder. So let's go to 175. Remember that 175 did not work out on the E3D V6. My spool holder is a little bit uh, tight, so I will help it a little bit so it doesn't restrict anything. 
The dragon seems to be pretty good at 175. No gaps so far. Let's go to 200. The motor is not getting hot. We're running the extruder motor at 650 milliamps. No problem. Let's go to 250 and see what happens. Let's do 225 first. So we are starting to see some problems now at 225. So I do not want to go above 200. Let's go down again to 200. So we can see that the limit is 200 uh, with the Dragon Hotton. We are on 20 cubic millimeter a second. And I don't know if it's the extruder or the Hotton. But this is a, in a Bowden setup. On a direct drive, it, we might even uh, get higher, I don't know. So this extruder can at least push 20 cubic millimeter a second. You can download the beta files now, so I will link to that as well. So everything looks great except the layer shift. The corner here where it shifts to the next layer we have some issues sure there's some slicing preferences i could go through to fix that let me know what could fix this in the slicer this is sliced with cura by the way what do you guys think let me know in the comments below like and share and subscribe see you guys soon